In this video, I'm going to show you the demonstration and configuration for using the Logitech G29 racing wheel with the cloud gaming hosted at MaximumSettings.com. As you can see here, I was able to use the Logitech gaming wheel with the game called American Truck Simulator that is running in the cloud server at MaximumSettings.com. Now let's see the configurations. First in the Logitech wheel, set the device setting to PS3 instead of PS4. Now for this method, I am using this uh, program called Virtual here. Now you do not need to pay for the license. It does have a free license that is good for one USB. And for using Logitech Z29, we need to use only one USB. So it is workable without having to purchase the license. In your local Windows PC, download the server and the client application for virtual here. You can save it to your downloads folder. Then execute both the client and the server component, as you can see here. The server program will pop up the message that says USB server is running. We do not need to change any settings. We just leave that window open as it is. Then on the client component, uh, right click on the Windows Hub, then click on Reverse Clients, click on Add, and then in that uh, IP box, enter the IP address of the server of the cloud gaming. So you should see the IP address in the dashboard of the MaximumSettings.com. Enter that IP address here. Click OK and leave the client also running. Now go to the Linux server that is hosted in the MaximumSettings.com. This is your cloud server. On that server, download the client program for virtual here. You do not need to download the server program. Download only the client program that is for Linux 64-bit. You can save it to the download folder in that uh, cloud server. Then open that client in the Linux server. Now it is not straightforward as in Windows. You have to go through these steps to execute that program. So first you open, you go to the start menu, open the command prompt in the Linux server and then um, go to the downloads folder, use the CH mode to make the file executable, uh, use the sudo command, as you can see here. It will also ask for your admin password. The admin password should be in the original email that you received from MaximumSettings.com when you signed up for their service. Then it should open the virtual here client program, as you can see here. Then right click on the USB hubs, then click on specify hubs, click on advanced, then check mark the box for enable reverse connections. Now the purpose of this is to connect to your local PC using the static IP of the cloud server instead of the IP address of your local server because our computers at home may not have static IP. So this is the alternate way, which is to use the static IP of the cloud server. Then after a few minutes, you will automatically see these uh, USB devices listed in the Linux server. You may also get a text box for um, something that says trial version. You can click OK. Then right click on the G29 driving force device and then click on use this device. And then you will see that it says in use by you. Once that is configured, open the game. So in this case, we are doing with the American Truck Simulator game. Uh, when you start the game, you may get this message. Click on ignore. Do not click on use as mouse. That will give a lot of trouble. So click on ignore on this box. Then once you are in the ATS game, click on options, click on controls, click on input wizard, click on controllers, click on steering wheel, as you can see here. For the gearbox, uh, I'm using simple automatic. Click on simple automatic. Then you can observe how the, the 
the input wizard detects input from the Logitech wheel. So you can see here, I can verify that I can use the steering wheel, pedals, uh, and configure the input, as you can see here. Once you finish the input wizard, you can go back to the previous menu and you can also configure the force feedback. The force feedback works, however, there was a noticeable delay in force feedback, so it may be good to set the force feedback at lower level to avoid unusual or awkward force feedback. I'm able to play the game using the wheel and the pedals. Uh, the force feedback also works, but you will see a slight delay uh, in the force feedback as you can see in this gameplay.